Hey guys, so it's Dean here with a tutorial showing you how to install a desktop hard drive. Now this is a very simple procedure just to install a new hard drive and it's one of the great reasons why you should have a desktop. Now today I'm going to be installing a two terabyte Western digital hard drive, but the name and the, all that kind of stuff is not important. What is is the size. Now this is what is known as a three and a half inch drive. That's typically what you will install into a desktop. Now there also is another smaller variety of hard drive called a two and a half inch. Typically that's going to be a, called a laptop hard drive or perhaps an SSD. Now the mounting procedure and everything is basically the same, although do keep in mind that typically desktops are made for three and a half inch drives like this, so if you have a two and a half inch drive, you're probably going to need an adapter. Now for my case, it's really simple. All I need to do is take these drive bays, or these guides or whatever you like to call them, and then just simply slide them into the screw holes. So there's one here and one here, and just hold it in place and do the exact same thing on the other side. Alright, so now you need to find an empty three and a half inch drive bay. So you guys can see here I have several, so it doesn't really matter which one. Do just kind of keep in mind that you're going to need to run the cabling, so if you know, if you're going to put one on down below and up top, you know, you need to keep in mind that cables are going to need to run to both. So typically I keep them pretty close. So we're going to go ahead and slide into the any bay. Now do keep in mind that you're going to need to run the cabling. So for this case, the cabling needs to be on the back side, which is the easiest way to do it. So you can see all our connections are going to be on this side. So we'll just take it and insert it in. And we're just going to slide it until it clips. So, All right, so I've disconnected my main hard drive just to show you guys so you can get a little bit of a better view. Now there are two things. I see on the right here is the SATA data. So this is where we get the data. So it's going to be a cable. Look something a little bit like this and you'll connect it to your motherboard on one end and of course the other end goes into your hard drive. And this other larger one is going to be for your power. So that's going to be a cable from your power supply such as something a little bit. I can pull it over here and like this. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and connect both of these hard drives back. So I'm going to do the, I guess I'm going to go ahead and do the bottom one first. I'm going to have to unconnect it. But, so we just need to take our SATA. Now they're all notched so you can't really put them in the wrong way. So if we put it in here. Now this should clip. So there we go. Uh, now the power connectors will not clip, so you're not 100% sure it's in, but you can apply a decent amount of force. And if it and if it doesn't work, then you can just simply just recheck your connection. So we'll take this and try to make sure we get it on here. And I don't have a lot of room to go with, but I think this should work. And then simply just slide it into place. All right, so that's going to be about it. Now all we need to do is just make sure that, of course, your SATA uh, data connector is connected both onto the hard drive as well as to your motherboard, and that the SATA power connector is in firm. So like I said, it won't actually snap, uh, but it shouldn't really have a whole lot of give, and it should be roughly even as far as how far it is in compared to the data cable. So all right, so at this point, we just need to do a little bit of uh, cable management, tie all these messy cables up, and go ahead and boot in. All right, so once you have your computer panels back on, everything plugged back in, go ahead and boot back into Windows. Now at this point, you just need to initialize the hard drive. So just hit the Windows key and type in Disk Management. And it will say Create and Format disk part Hard Disk Partitions. All right, so once we do this, it will take just a moment to load. And then we should see our new uh, hard drive, whether it be, you know, 100 gigabytes or 2 terabytes or anything. All right, so you can see here it says Select Disk. We have this new one. Uh, so we'll go ahead and just click OK. And now it should take just a moment, but you guys can see right here, we want to create a new simple volume. We can click next and we're just going to make the full size of the disk and we'll give it the drive letter E or whatever, you know, you can, if you want to make it drive letter Z, which actually would be kind of cool, but you can do whatever you want. And we can click next and we can just format it and create a name for it. So we'll just say, um, Western digital. You can of course name it whatever you want finish and then it should only take just a moment and then you should see that it will appear in your autoplay so there we go right there so now if we hit com my computer you will now see our new hard drive will be listed so guys that's going to be about it from here you can go ahead and load it up you can use it as a backup you can you know use extra files you can do pretty much anything you want so anyway guys this has been a quick tutorial showing you how to install a desktop hard drive now like i said many of these things do apply equally to if you're using a laptop or using a two and a half inch a laptop drive and a desktop but just be sure that you get it in correctly you don't you know screw anything up and make sure that everything the wiring is in properly and you should have really no problems anyway guys if you enjoyed the video definitely be sure to leave it a thumbs up and if you're interested in more videos like this be sure to subscribe